An important message for accident victims. At the law firm of Ryan Dalvecchia, Roach and Ryan, 331-7680, our first concern is you. Your pain, your problems, your future. Nothing matters more than helping you in every way we can. And we know exactly how to help you. We'll get the maximum money award you have coming. Call 331-7680 for a free appointment. Ryan Dalvecchia, Roach and Ryan, 331-7680. We know how to help you. Hey guys. The holiday season is it's time to get spooky. Oh, I gotta put on a spooky, spooky lights. Hold on. What are spooky lights? Um, hmm. Like this? We'll do this. There we go. Ooh. Yep, Russia got us. Electoral College got us. <laughs> uh, okay, so as I recall, I remember being pretty tough even on normal, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Look at you, hacker. A path pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you run through my court. Took it, came out trans to my best friend and his wife. Can you challenge a perfect immortal? They took it as well as I ever could imagine. Awesome. Congratulations. In 2072, yeah, that's great news. Glad to hear it. Intelligence, known as Shodan, lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess, destined. Hey, to random Frank. Welcome. That Been a while. Was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. I, I did change my game, Zeno. It takes a while for it to update. Being a more creepy text feeder, I never made those, so I don't know. The day the magic happens, the Von Braun, the first starship in history, that was Ricky and Elliot, I think, faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems, nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNM Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation oh. is made possible by an intricate series of docking. Uh. Allow Hold the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Forgot to move my uh, webcam back over. Sweet. Fast. Sexy. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. Fell asleep soon after the cataclysmic event last night. How long, much longer did you go? Which cataclysmic event are you referring to? This is Dr. Nubi Delacroix of the UNN Dungeon. We've been hijacked by an unknown force. Ship security has been compromised. Do not allow the ship to leave. What does your shirt say? Under any Pretty sure we partied. Is there a remastered System Shock in the works? Yes! And a System Shock 3. They announced it a long time ago. There have been words about it, just not... Welcome to the Ramsey Center. Not many encouraging ones. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The grav shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the grav shafts. Step into the grav shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment. We got grav shafts. We got hacking. We got trains. We got cyberpunk shit. Look at this futuristic phone. They were so close to cell phones and still. Make a terrestrial call. 75 nanites breaking my ass. I want some noodles. Let me in. Happy noodle. So I've I've modded I've added a whole lot of mods. <clears throat> it looks good for a 99 release. It's been brushed up. There's a lot of texture mods, uh, widescreen stuff, community patches to make it more like balanced and and stable. This is this is the 
Modern, t brushed up version of this game. Uh, so this part, I'll go through the basic training just for fun. You'll want to learn some basic abilities. First, you should go into the basic training center. When you're done with basic training, proceed to the advanced training area. Oh, how much longer do you go after the beginning of Half-Life? Uh, I want to say two and a half hours or so. And then I let it run on bumpers for like, uh... To pick up some basic skills, you'll... For a while, for a few hours after service. that. Enter this Cyberlink booth. Inside, you'll learn the basic skills you'll need to get started. Welcome, trainee. While you're in our virtual training courses, we provide you with a simulated Hello, humanoid sharks. interface. This training interface... I bother with a new cyberpunk? Actual yeah. military-grade cyber interface. Ooh. Now, let's try it out. Move the mouse. See how it changes where you look? Wow. That means you're in shoot mode. Hit the tab key. This puts you in use mode, where you can use your mouse to interact with items in the world. Oh! Wow! Open your primary MFD. That is so... ...function display by clicking on the MFD button near the bottom of the screen. This display shows your strengths in various areas. When you're ready to continue, press the tab key to go back to shoot mode. It is so weird. Between modes until you get the hang of it. Having played System Shock One. Red path along the ground to the next training station. To see how much they actually like brushed up this game and kept the core of it, the like two modes of viewing. Um, to pick up items, center them on your screen and right click. This will automatically place that item into your inventory. To view your inventory, press the tab key. To pick up items, uh, center them on your screen and right click. Yum. To use items like buttons and computers, center them in your view and click the right mouse button. Hey. All usable items will have brackets around them. Highlight the button on the pillar and right click. This will activate the lift. Try it out. What's System Shock even about? You can still see your inventory display. It means you're in use mode. Hit tab to return. Uh, in System Shock 1, you play as some hacker who got busted by the FBI, and then you're sent into this, like, building to. Because uh, AI became self-aware and took over the building's s s security systems and killed everyone. You just go in there and, like, take care of it. They, like, all turn into zombies and stuff. Something similar happens in System the Shock 2. The object before you is a med hypo. Pick it up and then press tab to go into use mode. Right-clicking on the med hypo will use it and restore some needed hit points. Your hit points are displayed by a bar in the lower left corner of your screen. Many objects in your inventory can be used by right-clicking on them. Big shape goes into space and gets fucked. Yeah, big ship, you mean? Yeah. Can I spoil the game? System Shock 1? Sure. 2, you should you should leave it. I think. There's a crate in front of you. To search it, center it on your screen and right-click. If you are in use mode, simply move the pointer to the crate and right-click. To take an item from that container, simply left-click on it. This will automatically place that item in your inventory. To One of the most important tools you have as a soldier is your PDA. This device stores this message is coming emails from the audio and all the useful information. Up. You can use Click your the PDA at any time to play any audio log or PDA email display. you've received. Currently in the field, the of PDA is also are used for keeping track of current about mission objectives and obtaining jump. health information. Press the space bar. Some surfaces uh. are be mantled onto. Are you the same person in System Shock 2? No. System Shock 2 is, is years later. Edges ...and other high places in front of you. Give it a try. 42 years later, in fact. Yeah, art, artistic love. Oh, yeah. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Hold on a minute. Uh, I'm gonna play Portal Stories. No, I'm not familiar with that. And yeah, replaying Portal 2. I'm playing Half-Life and then Half-Life 2, I'm like, man, Portal 2. It's just so incredible. I gotta play it again. You've done well. Thanks. If you're unclear on any aspect of what you've just learned, you can repeat the training as often as you wish. But yeah, uh, System Shock 2, you're just some schmo who signs up for the, uh, the military off of the train. The Thinking Man's Army, the OSA. You went in, starts with you. If yeah, finish all the other games. I will, don't worry about it. ...ready for the advanced lessons provided here. Advanced training will familiarize you with the three key areas of military service. Weapons training, 
technical training and psionics training. Approach the CyberLink booth of your choice to train in that area. When you finish training in the three areas, proceed directly to the recruitment center to choose and start your military career. All right, wannabe. If you want to learn the weapon skills, it takes to even think about joining the Marine. Good to have you on board. You'll notice when you're in the CyberLink booth, the UNN is kind of... Now we'll teach you how to handle a firearm. Pick up the pistol and the clip from the table. You can equip the weapon in one of two ways. Bring up your inventory and drag the pistol to your weapons equip slot near the right hand side of your inventory. If that's too slow for you, you can use the hotkeys on the keyboard. Press 2. If the pistol was in your inventory, it will equip for you automatically. To lock and load the ammo clip, hit the R key or hit the reload button on the lower right corner of your screen. Once you've loaded the firearm, take a shot at the dummy robot by pressing your left oh. mouse button when in shoot mode. Notice how his health bar gets shorter as you chip away at it. Well, that's kind of a cool sound effect. I think that's probably a mod thing, but... Um... A game where you play as Mel before Chell? It's harder than all the other portals? Ah! Cool! I should try it. I remember seeing a uh, headline about it thinking, that's cool. <laughs> Did it. I'm a hero. Some items need to be charged with energy before they can be used. Pick up the laser pistol. Now use the recharging station nearby. The recharge station will juice up all of your energy-based items. Weapons, batteries, It's a fan game? Okay. Weapons are not fine wines. They do not get better with age. A colored dot on the lower right corner of the screen tells you what kind of shape your firearm is in. Hmm. Green is good, red is bad. Find the effects of wear and tear. God, look at that aim jump. It just moves your cursor. That's crazy. Just pick up the tool, open your inventory, and drag the tool onto your pistol. Remember that maintenance tools are only good for a single use. God, I love the sound of that shell hitting the floor. That's really cool. Good work. Now you're ready for the Marines. Take a look at the other training area yes, sir. before you enlist. You got it, sir. So, uh, I want you guys to be thinking about this. Soon you will have to choose a specialization. Like, you actually spec out your character, you get stat points. This game's fucking great. So, I want you guys to decide. And this is, this will actually, maybe I'll straw poll this too, but. Or maybe I'll just look at chat and see, but. You guys have to choose. Am I going to be a hack man, a gun man, or a psychic man? And I've always, always, always chose hack. <laughs> because of course, but. Inside, we'll teach you the basics of some technical skills you'll need in the Navy. Yeah, Navy. Welcome. You'll notice when you're in the CyberLink booth, we'll provide you with a temporary cyber interface. Everyone's saying hack, of course. You need to accomplish the training tasks. But the That's the Gordon Freeman archetype, right? In the booth. An engineer? You're the, the working man stuck in the wrong situation? The object in front of you is a container of nanites. Nanites. Nanites are consumed whenever you perform technical tasks, yeah. such as hacking or repairing. Nanites. When you pick up the container of nanites, they do not go in your general inventory, yeah. but are instead displayed oh. in use mode on the bottom left of your screen. Nanites. Walk over to the keypad by the door and try out hacking. I'd love to. Use the keypad by right-clicking on it. Hack soft. Booyah. You'll see an orange tab labeled Hack. Left click on the tab. Um, Text will appear up. indicating the difficulty of the hack and any bonuses that apply. Maybe I need to move my webcam. Let's click see. on the start button to begin hacking. This bottom middle actually looks pretty unused. Clicking on a node will either turn it bright or dark. To successfully hack, you must connect three bright nodes in a straight line. Beware the ice nodes with the red outlines. If one of these turns dark, you fail the hack and you might break the item you're working on or worse. Security you can access your compromised. compromised. At any time Security the access reset compromised. compromised. Though you'll have to pay the nanite cost again. Nanites! Uh, Jedi, sorry, I'll get to your question in just a minute. I want to uh, put my webcam in the bottom middle, because actually I think a lot of this UI stuff is pretty important in this game. It's a, it's kind of a gamer's game, you know? It's a real game. Oh boy. It's not... Mm, I think the batteries in this might be dead. Alright, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna move this webcam with uh, Chrome Remote Desktop, because that's how much of a, a fucking hack hack god I am. But first, I gotta wait for uh, 
the little banner that pops up um, to tell you that your Chrome remote desktoping always goes right on top of the thing that I need to click on without fail. It's crazy. All right. Edit transform. Positional alignment. Bottom center. All right, I'm going to click around a little bit. Uh, what's half of 2560? Oh, fuck me. It's 30, and then 25, half of that would be 17. 1750. Nope. 1650. Nope. Why am I blanking on this right now? 1450. Nope. It's 28. How can I not do math right now? 1250. 1250 plus 30 is 1280. Okay. Okay, and then 1280 by 1440. Ugh, God. Almost there, boys. Shit. Got eight pixels shaving off right now. We can't have that. There we go. You know what that is? That is a perfectly bottom centered webcam. Ah, crap. I forgot to close the dialogue. Hold on. This is, a, this is what we call Doom Cam. There we go. Okay, hopefully that doesn't cover up anything. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. All right, uh, sorry, somebody's asking about building computers. Let me, uh... Ooh, it scrolled off. Uh... Hold on a second. I don't know if I can tab out of this game. Hmm, it's not so bad. Uh, blah, 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 dub, dub, good shit. Angel frame, good shit. You're a smart person, I can tell. Recently finished the game for the first time. Surprised how uncomfortable I felt. Yeah, it's it's very disquieting. All right, Jedi says, honest, huge question. Building and troubleshoot computers for a living. Research schools and have found nothing. What degree I need or a certificate? Any schools? I'm in Houston. Um, sounds like IT. Sounds like IT is what you're looking for, or network administrator or something like that. Um, how you get you get into that? I guess you just start getting start getting certifications. Um. There is a basic certification that basically says, I know how computers work. I'm trying to remember what it's called. Oh, that's Stephanie shouting in the background. You can use nanites to buy items from replicators. To use a replicator, right click on it. Hi there. Then left click Please on the item you wish selection. to purchase. The items you purchase will drop into the slot rest. below. Make sure you pick up your purchases before you leave the database. Reinitialize. Choosing value wrap. Also, if this shit is reminding you of the circus of values, it ought to. Bioshock is called Bioshock for a reason. Made by the same people, same spiritual series. But no one played System Shock. You've learned the basics of the technical- A plus, that's what it is. There Security plus and network plus, okay. Skills you'll learn throughout the course of your Thank you, Zeno. Such as repairing items and modifying weapons. The cyber interfaces for these tasks are similar to the hacking interface. Before you enlist in the Navy, try out the other training courses. They'll be useful. I like how this dude was like, I'm going to try to sound like Spock as much as possible. You will learn how to reach out with your mind. Do not let fear block your path. Why did they do this? Uh, oh boy. Hey, it's that, it's that lady that teaches you how to be a, a clairvoyant on all the other bumpers. Do you, do you prefer cyberpunk in space settings or city settings? I mean, city is more fun. There's more people around. We've provided you with a virtual interface and the temporary ability to project simulated psionic powers. Once you leave this area, these powers will be lost. Yeah, it's old Opticron, you're right. I don't I don't blame people for not knowing about it. The red bar at the lower left of your screen tells you how many side points you have. Psi points symbolize the current ability to use your psi powers. Psi hypos replenish your psi points. Try using a Psi Hypo and watch your Psi Points increase. When you've reached your maximum in Psi Points, move this Psi Amp amplifies your Psi Powers and lets you project them into the real world. To equip it, pick it up and then hit the tilde key. Firing the Psi Amp activates your currently selected Psi Discipline. You currently have access to two disciplines, Cryokinesis and Kinetic Redirection. Go into Use Mode and click on the arrows on the bottom right of the screen. This will cycle through your available Psi Disciplines. Later, clicking on the arrows above the number to the left 
will allow you to select Psy disciplines from higher tiers. Use cryokinesis to destroy the robot and kinetic redirection to pull that nanite container towards you. Be careful. Holding down the mouse button can augment the power, but holding it down for too long will cause burnout, which will damage you. If you run out of Psy points, use another Psy Hypo. That's a pretty cool mechanic. I like that they made magic something a little more profound than just you shoot... Like, instead of bullets, you shoot magic bullets. Mastery of the <clears throat> is a slow but rewarding process. I never played PsyOps. Big Boots, what do you think of the Cyberpunk gameplay? Too much sun, not enough rain. I thought it was good and smart and, like, measured in the ways it should be measured. I liked it. Uh, I thought it was... I was surprised that they showed it, to be frank. Given how far away the game is and how much they showed, they did a good job, I think, of, like, showing people what the concept is, what a game loop is going to be, what you can what you can expect. And I think that's... It's very smart of them, also surprising of them, very liberal. Um, Alright, here we go. Before you make your choice, soldier, here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. Alright, well everyone said hack, so... To UNN Orbital Space Station, where you'll receive a briefing regarding your yearly postings. Good luck. Maybe half cryo or half pyro like Gil? Oh, or like, uh, what's his name from MHA? Yeah, we're all Navy. Sorry, I just smacked my mouse across my keyboard. Yeah, six hours is a long time. Uh, this is, this is, this is me on break. All day, every day. Installed high res te uh, space textures. I guess it didn't take. I'll have to check that. Maybe move it up in priority. Welcome aboard the space station Chesapeake Bay, sailor. It looks like you've picked up some standard weapon skills at basic on Coronado Island. Now it's time for your tour of duty. Your tour will consist of four postings over four years. In this man's navy, you're given a choice of three different postings a year. It's up yeah. to you to decide what kind of career you want to have, so choose wisely. Just approach a shuttle bay to receive a briefing on a posting. If you think that posting is right for you, head into that bay to accept the assignment. Oh, this is how you this is how you build your character, right? So you get stats. Love the air; these graphics are so charming. I agree. You know, I agree. Have with the streaming, we'll take a pr break to wank it. Uh, well, I would have done that already if it's six hours, man. Refractory period is at an all-time low. I've been feeling great lately, but I will take a break now because I gotta use the restroom. So. Blockbuster game of choice. Mine was Jedi Knight 2 until someone never returned it. Uh, I rented... I rented Final Fantasy 6 a lot because I really yeah, wanted to beat yeah, it. And they only had one copy, which is good. But, uh, man, you were, that was that was a devil's game. Giving your save file to someone else and hoping they didn't just delete it. <laughs> Piss yourself, you coward. Yeah. Uh, I'll be right back. See you guys in just a minute. And then uh, you guys can tell me what stats to get. Very exciting. Hi, I'm Maurice Hinchin, asking you to join with me in watching this special family message from a young serviceman away from home. My name is Steve Lavelle. I'm stationed here in Clark Air Base in the Philippines. I'd like to wish everybody in New York, especially my family and my friends, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi, I'm Brian Kenny. Join us each week for the WTZA-TV Bowling Tournament. This week, our champion, Ron Ubaby Jansen of Kingston. He edged Willie Lattimore of Wappingers Falls, beat him by just two pins. You can qualify, too, for our tournament. Just contact one of these 17 qualifying houses that you see on your screen. Maybe you, too, can be on our show. The WTZA-TV Bowling Tournament every Sunday at noon. If you took Alka-Seltzer Plus for your sneezing and congestion, there's something you should know. Contact Maximum Strength Caplets work twice as long. Isn't I? Until there's a cure, there's contact. 
Hey, Sal, listen yeah. to what it says here in Car and Driver. To say that Hyundai's success has been phenomenal would be an understatement. I don't want to hear about the it. The name that nobody could pronounce three years ago has become a household word. I don't want to hear about it. Once synonymous with durability, quality. I told you I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> you don't want to hear about it. Hyundai's are very dependable, but some people don't want to hear about it. Hyundai, we're making more sense than ever. Is there anyone out there who still isn't clear about what doing drugs does? Okay, last time. This is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Monday, a Christmas miracle brings a statue to life. MacGyver. Bam. Are you ready for the football? The NFC East leading Philadelphia Eagles tackle the New Orleans Saints on ABC's NFL Monday Night Football. And all this is included in the price of the toaster. You bet. It's each separate piece of Okay, okay, okay. I'm so excited to go back to space. All right. There's no sprint in this game, I don't think. It's just slow and slower. Cause man, this game, this game fucks with you. Military police engineers mate ship ops. Engineers mate's probably what I'm looking for. Uh, the UNM Seal is looking for an engineers mate to help maintain the ship's core energy systems. There's some heavy lifting involved, sailor, but you'll learn your way around the high tech equipment. So that's repair. Modify. The seal is looking for volunteers for their military police detachment. Those sailors can get pretty rowdy on these year-long. And hack. Seal is looking for an ops training officer to learn the ship's navigation and data control systems. You'll get your feet wet with the high-tech systems, but also expect some heavy lifting. Can we vote on where you go. I mean, just fuck it, spam it in chat. I don't care. I mean, I'm assuming you're gonna pick hack. You, yeah, you have to pick. You're you're picking hack. Don't worry about it. I. It's fine. Oh, you wanted police? Yeah, see? There's a whole emote for it. Whole year, Captain Meyer was pleased with your work, especially with the initiative you showed in physical training. Fucking hacking shit all day and pumping iron all night. Yeah! Uh, guys, I'm curious about this. I like to occasionally do some straw polls of Twitch when I can. Do you like it when a streamer reads text on screen? Something like this. Does that matter? Is it annoying? A lot of people do it, and I don't know if it's just it feels natural, or you feel like you're performing, so you ought to, or you feel like you're entertaining. Yes, not a fan, doesn't matter, it's fine. Thank you, Carnage Red. I can read, I have eyes. If it's short and unique, then sure. Okay. Keeps, I think it keeps the whole stream on the same pace. All right. I like it. Not always, not always watching the screen. I like it, especially with a text-heavy game like this. I like it, unless it's super fucking long. Only in a Boston accent. Don't care, don't care. If it's a story game, then I like them to read it. For audio only, it's a plus, but not required. Depends how often they do it. Sounds like it's nuanced. Okay. Okay. Laverne, Florida hosts the Navy's premier tactical training school. Well, maybe not as respected as the Marines facility. Not this kind of game. There's a lot to be learned here. Hmm. Depends on your audience. Yeah, wow, you... As to be expected, uh, from a diverse group of people, you guys, I think, gave every possible answer to that question conceivable. So, yeah. The UNN Pierce is ferrying liberated political prisoners back home from their detention near Saturn. The Pierce has been assigned a detachment of Marines and needs sailors to load, administer, and maintain the arms on board the ship. Okay, maintenance plus two to guns, plus the two to cyber cybernetic affinity. Discovered Class B comet approaching the outer solar system. You'll likely pick up some useful skills working with the high-tech navigation systems aboard this newly commissioned heavy cruiser. Yeah, uh, you got. I know what you guys want. Don't worry about it. I could do a voice, whatever, or I could do a. I could do a vote, I'm sorry. Straw poll. I could do it, if I wanted to. Not necessary. I'll just go with this. What the hell is cybernetic affinity? Does it matter? 
an agreement for the car. Oh, that's the that's the ship. It's like what? Why is Carfax around in 20, 2113? Aren't we beyond that? In twenty one thirteen, nobody will own cars anymore. You'll twenty one thirteen. That's really far away. That's really far away. We'll either have teleport teleportation. Or you'll, like, either automatically with your fucking brain or your phone or some device, some interface, you'll order transportation. You'll tell it where you want to go. It'll, like, be an orb. It'll be some shit. You'll step inside of it. It'll, through some global computer, uh, compute how to get to where you're going without running into anything and just do it. Fucking awesome. That's 2113. That's the Carfax. And it'll be fast, too. Like, ridiculously fast. And you'll still be pissed. Because it'll take, like... It'll take, like, ten minutes instead of eight to cross the Atlantic because of headwind. And you're like, this fucking planet, man. The Navy strongly encourages every sailor to undertake some amount of zero-G training. A year at the Yamamoto space station in Earth's orbit will more than suffice. Agility? Okay. The Navy maintains a survival training school on the surface of Io, the third moon of Jupiter. Pros, there's no better way to improve stamina and survival skills. Cons, the 21.2% mortality rate. That's real high. Research. The Navy's Mary Curie Research Facility on Aquinas 4 is currently conducting research on a new strain of space-borne virus that killed 220,000 citizens of New Atlanta. That's a lot. To lift the quarantine, we must determine how the virus pierced the city's micro-nanite shielding. Why travel in VR is as good as real life, though? Just VR your office of coworkers, like jacking into the Matrix instead of going to work. Yeah, I'm curious. I, there's two ways. There's two paths for humanity, right? There's... Going entirely digital because physical is not worth the effort anymore, and physical being so easy that you might as well do physical, you know? Um, I get the VR aspect where there are some limitations to the real world that will just never go away. But I think the positives are important. I don't know. That's a good question, actually. I think it's possible that the physical world will get so easy and fast and cheap that uh, VR doesn't match what your brain perceives through your body yet. But it'll get there. All right. So there's two stats and or there's plus two and two very important stats: agility and endurance, and plus one in research. So how much of a what are we gonna do? I saw somebody reacting very strongly to zero gravity. Or rather, I saw it a couple times. So we'll go zero g. The Navy strongly encourages every sailor to undertake some amount of zero g training. Sounds like a fun year to spend, right? Actually, you might get sick of it a couple days in. I want teleportation now. I'm going to go to L.A. and not have to take an all-day all drive from Kansas. That'd be nice, right? No, teleportation would change everything. If you could just, like, teleport... Like, property couldn't exist if you have teleportation. I can just, like, open a portal and, like, take your iPhone. It's, warp. it's mine now. Or everything would have to be, like, biometrically locked. Everything. But people could just warp in your house or something. There'd have to be some kind of anti-warp thing. To even stabilize society. Half the crew to mutiny. Huh. Man. A mutiny. Like being the captain of a spaceship and having a space mutiny is terrifying. Like two groups of humans that just turn on each other. Uh. Do you think there will be a trade-off as technology increases and becomes a large part of your life? You lose more than human aspects of consciousness. A lot of people worry about that. I don't know. Maybe? Uh, I think that they're... Oh wait, I think things are about to get spooky. I realize my webcam is covering part of this. That happened in Star Trek. Did you see that episode? Um, on the like the original series? Maybe I didn't see that episode.
if I jerk off when teleporting, will the teleport feel icky forever after? Will the ether, well, get the jizz status effect? Hmm. I mean, you could teleport semen into a vagina. Which is not, not a good idea. This chat is going in the wrong direction. Yeah. It's getting evil. But yeah, that's like... That's what I mean. Teleportation would destroy human society. The mutiny, uh, the mutiny Spock pulled to save the original captain of the Enterprise. Huh. Steady yourself, soldier. This is Dr. Oh, I don't remember that. Of the computer op staff of the Von Braun. You're safe for the is that season three? You're recovering from the effects of surgery and will be unable to remember any of the events of the last few weeks. You're on board the starship Von Braun and something's gone very, very wrong. Some kind of force has hijacked this ship. That's why you volunteer to be implanted with some experimental cybernetic implants. Rely on your cyber interface. It just might save your life. You must find an elevator and come up to Deck 4 to meet me. Deck 4. Can you remember that? But keep your eyes open. They're after us both now. Oh, Opticrime. Hold on, dropping a sub. Means I'm gonna play something. But, not just yet. Watch out. I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. It's become unstable due to- MOVE! Take cover! Why the- oh. Uh- Critical decompression hazard in the cryo recovery suite. Probably fine. Ah, uh, good old pipe. Oops. Uh, it's tap, right? Okay. Ah. Uh. Okay, no opening that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. How this game kept a lot of that, a lot of the spiritual elements from one, but ditched all of the UI stuff that just did. Man, it's makes it tough. Makes it hard. Makes it a face only a mother could love. And I love cyberpunk like it were my child. So. The entire sector is depressurizing and the blue vacuum shield won't last long. Get through a secure airlock before you're sucked into space. Move it! I wonder if that's something that can happen. Can you wait here long enough to die? Great. I've got to change the access codes out of cryo -A again. Like I've got nothing better to do. Let me guess. I think Grassy just likes to make work for me. I'll set the new code no? to 45... Oh wait. Why did it stop? Fuck. Right as it was Great. 45100. Oh, oh, okay. Keyboard's wiggling. What's going on? Stop it. That should be easy enough. Keep hitting that to take out take away the Take away the UI. Warning. Decompression event imminent. Please move immediately to cryo recovery B. Decompression event imminent. This power cell is dead. There should be a recharger nearby. Just use it and it will recharge all the power-driven devices in your Please possession. After you've recharged the cell, plug it in. Good. You've managed to get out before the whole area depressurized. I've just uploaded you some cybernetic modules. You can use them to upgrade your cybernetic rig at the upgrade units in this area. There are four types of units in the next room. One for each subsystem of your cybernetic gear. Stats, psi, weapons, and tech. But use the modules carefully. They're hard to come by. Okay. Now, let me play a song. Sorry. Oh, the first section's pretty cool. Sorry. I accidentally tapped both of the... Motherfuckers. Alright, there we go. Let me find a track. Actually... No. This feels good to me. This feels right. Alright, sorry about the wait, but... Opti Crime, thank you for subbing. Appreciate it. I'm gonna play the remake of this when it comes out. Uh, so, Sir Sloan, they're making a remake to System Shock 1. Which, yes, I am going to play. This is System Shock 2. This is a sequel to the game. I played it a little bit last night, but... Anyway, please enjoy this song. Thank you so much. Wait.
Click that first. I'm learning, I'm learning. Sorry, that wasn't wasn't a very Christian song for this very Christian stream. Hey, we can be cool, you know? Christians can be cool. You know what's cool? Jesus. I'm sorry. To say that implies that it's, you know, it's it's not. I'm really at a point where I don't care anymore, which is good. In fact, more than not caring, I celebrate anything that makes people happy or makes their lives more meaningful or better. Uh, Alright, they... Sh the nice lady said that we're upgrade machines. Oh, here we go. There's a lot of... A lot of dead people, though. Shit's falling everywhere? God damn. God damn. Alright, uh... Find the station that has hacking on it. And it's tech. And then upgrade hack. There. And we've done it. What else is there? Pair. Modifying open to improve state. That's cool. I mean, that's research. I remember researching being pretty part. Oh, yeah, research. That was in, like, Bioshock and stuff with the camera? Yeah. Forgot. I think it's so I think it's something similar here. I think you spend resources to get, like, stat boosts and stuff. Watch out. Oh. I'm getting strange readings from radar dish outside the I guess that's the, uh, captain? Who is Polito? Move! Take cover! Who is that? I guess we'll find out. Actually, I kind of like Half-Life. I think I'm at the point where I remember... I remember moments of this game and I remember the story, but I don't remember all of it. So it's going to be fun to explore it again. Oh, it's you. Sorry. Hey, Doc. A security bot showed up with orders for me to place this grunt into the recovery freezer. I'm no cyber doc, but I know a plant job when I see one. I suppose you know they outlawed our grade cyber goodies after that fiasco back on Citadel Station. But hey, I just work here, right? I don't know what you just said. Also, so the the Citadel Station thing is is uh, referring to the first game. Hmm. Security access compromised. Security access compromised. Feels great. Brawn boost. Trademark. What does it do? Oh. Gives me one strength. Oh, and that, uh, okay, it affects my carry weight, too. Uh, I guess it runs out of power? But, might as well keep it equipped. Let's see how, see how quickly it drains. What are you most hyped about in 2019? Does Star Wars 9? Star Wars 9? Yeah, I'm really excited for that. Um, Devil May Cry 5. Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, maybe Metroid Prime 4. Uh, Resident Evil 2. There's like a lot of... A lot of games I'm looking forward to. I don't know. Work stuff's gonna be pretty cool. Looking forward to a lot there. So yeah, there's, there's a lot going on. A lot of good shit. Oh wait, that's where I came from. Or... Oh, there was an elevator, that's right. Up here. FF7 Remake? Yeah, is that supposed to be... Actually, let me see what quicksave is, or if there is one. Alt-S. Okay. I can get used to that. Oh shit! Diarrhea D! With the tier 1 sub! Holy crap, thank you. Ooh, there's items over there. So hold on a second. Alt-S. I'm gonna play a song! Sorry if I ask too much, really curious what cyberpunk books you have read. Did you read Asimov, Lem, or Altered Carbon as a book series? Certainly haven't- I haven't read Altered Carbon. Uh, I've read Heinlein. I've read- I've read a lot of Asimov, yeah. I've read some Philip K. Dick, uh, which I guess is cyberpunk. That was kind of before cyberpunk existed, but some of the spirits there. Uh, so yeah, that's that's basically a, a sampling of it. I gotta admit, I haven't I haven't dug super deep into it. There's never enough time to consume all the things I want because I am a consumer. All right, I want to find a track for you. With a name like Diarrhea. <laughs> Brings a lot of imagery to mind, but... So you gotta find something musical. 
Mm. Let me try I think something from here is good. Oh, wait. Hmm. Okay. This is a sort of well, you, you can imagine it. I thought I was gonna <laughs> I don't know that song. Opticrime. That is uh, a layer of the arts I am not familiar with. Alright. Okay, now I gotta get these items. Uh, and. Ha! I fell! Did I even. Oh, man, jumping in this game is kind of fugly. You are the, s the softest squish man. It's weird. I guess they kept the kind of lurching walking uh, from the first game too. There's definitely like a, a thud to your walk. Interesting. Oops. Although, oh boy. All right. Well. Oh. What? What just happened? Oh, I must have used like a speed patch or something. Wait, hold on. Alt load. Okay. I thought for some reason I thought that was the pick up and pick upable inventory. Oh man. That jump physics is raunchy. I don't know about that one. Yeah, yeah, Xana dude. This was uh This was made by the people who made Bioshock. It was the game they made before they made Bioshock, I think. I don't I don't remember if there's No, they made Tribes of Sin. Yeah, that's right. Alright, one more time and then I give up. So, ah. Alright, I give up. He's got buttered up heels. Oh, you've been stomping on that butter again, haven't you? I know, when you walk around like that. Okay, let's keep exploring. Man, I don't remember the constant ship rumble, but it's pretty intense. Does it remind you that you're on a space station alone? Okay. And it doesn't have a eight bit. Can somebody let me out? I can't find my card. Please, let me out of here. I, don't, I didn't remember about the ghosts, yeah. It also doesn't have a shrill 8-bit shitty midi tune peeling the whole time. Played Isolation? I did. I didn't finish it. Well done. I'm uploading some more modules. Didn't put nearly the time into it that I wanted. Fuck! Researched object. I think there's sneak attacks in this game. <laughs> Fucking music. There was a mod to make the music better, and I'm pleased to say I installed it. Oh. Huh. That insipid computer Xerxes has shut down the elevator as well. You can transfer power to the engine core on deck one, which will get the elevator up and running again. But you can't use the elevator to get down there. Wait. There's some kind of maintenance access right on this hallway. You can use it to reach deck one. Oh, oh there's a camera. Oh, shit. And Xerxes is hiding the passcode from me. Dr. Watts should- ah! He's probably in the crucial section. Grassi has- Of course, I'm almost dead. But he is in the medical sub- Shit. Probably near the biopsy lab. Ah! Get to the medical subsection and find Grassi. Okay. I'm about to die though, so... Fuck, man. Ah. Where do I go? 
I'll run back here and hide. Just hit the ground. <clears throat> yeah, those butter shoes. Got them again. Old butter shoes. Shoot, I'm gonna have to go through the hallway again, huh? All right. Let me out. Death comes. I can't find my card. Please let me out of here. It is funny how, like, yeah, you can spend a lot of time very slowly plotting through a game, and then if you know what to do, you just zip right through it. All right. Well done. I'm uploading some more modules. Okay. I. Alright, you let him take a swipe, you move in on, on him. That seems pretty simple. Like I do in dreams. Yeah, hey, watch out for the cameras. You can shoot them with a gun. Try to avoid them. Uh, I don't have a gun. Not yet, anyway. Heck, man! No door. No door will survive me. Delacroix. Why is it that no one listens to me? The security protocols on the Xerxes system are clearly immature. Some idiot hacked into the primary data loop last night and made Xerxes sing Elvis Presley songs for three hours. I finally had to pull the voice subsystem off. All right. What would happen if someone with a real agenda got into him? If someone with a real agenda. What's your plan, Spec? Hack. I don't know. I'll figure it out as I go. Oh wait. There's a door at this one, right? That insipid computer Xerxes has shut down the elevator as well. You can transfer power the engine core on deck one, which will get the elevator up and running again. This is Xerxes. But you can't use the elevator to get down there. Wait. There's some kind of maintenance access. The computer's really loud. You can use it to reach deck one. However, it's locked, and Xerxes is hiding the power. Code from me. Dr. Watts should have the code. He's probably in the crew subsection. Grossi has the key to get in there, but he's in the medical subsection, probably near the biopsy lab. Now get to the medical subsection and find Grossi. This music is going for a while. Maybe it is like System Shock 1. I got called up around 0430 to help unload the shuttle coming back from Tau City. Oh, well, maybe not. Kerensky okay. was there alone. Jesus, what the hell happened to him? He lost most of his hair, and you could see these lumps on the side of his neck. And that smell. I told him he should go see Dr. Watts, but he told me to mind my own business. Bloody da So, okay. So they picked up... I guess they picked up some kind of infection on a planet. Oh, hey. Yeah, this thing. On most decks, you'll find a quantum bio-reconstruction device. Xerxes shut them all down, but I've discreetly put them back online. You'll need to interface with each machine locally to provide a quantum entanglement sample. Once you do that, the device will be able to rebuild your body essentially from scratch. It's not pleasant, but it's preferable to slow decomposition. Okay. has also taken out access to this bulkhead. It's the only way to get to the medical subsection. Ooh. Pick up the battery from the floor and find a recharger. The one you used before is in hard vacuum now, I'm afraid, but there should be another one on this deck. Once you get the battery recharged, place it in the auxiliary o- Eh! 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 Man, take that. Marie, I've got to restrict access to engineering until we can figure out what to do down there. It's just too hot. 
I don't know where all the hazard suits went, so I'm reduced to bringing down an armful of rad hypos. Those damn things always give me a headache. Rad hypos! It's a couple weeks old, wanted to say that I love the Siberia gameplay you guys put out. The game looks really fun, even though everyone was making fun of it. I, I, had, a I had a really good time recording that. I want to do another one of those. I can't let Siberia die. Game pig. What? Right. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Flag the corn. Oh. I stepped on the corn. Oh, I stepped on the corn. Oh, I stepped on the corn. All right, here we go. Ah, I stepped on the corn. I got corn cobbed. I got kerneled. They popped me. Except for the remake of Sushin Walk 1 by Night Dive. Tried going back, but no mouse look is just too old. Uh, the, the good old game... So, there is a version that has mouse look. Um, they, they did a... Like, not necessarily a remaster, but a re-release. Uh, it's like enhanced version or something like that. Anyway. Uh... That has mouse look, and it, it's playable. I can't imagine that game pre-mouse look. Somebody's hacked into this thing again. I'm gonna tell Delacroix. Uh, but yeah. Hi there. Please make your selection. I am very much looking forward to that, because I'd like to play more of this kind of game. I played I played the remaster, or the re-release, need to be clear. I played the re-release last night, and I, I liked it. There was some grit in there. It was not the easiest thing. Unable to get in touch with Delacruz. The this place is falling yeah. apart. Members of my team keep disappearing. The leaks in the venting shaft shorted out. Xerxes has control of the ship's security system. Avoid or destroy any security cameras you see. You can hack security computers to power down the cameras too. If oh. You're good enough. Oh, I'm good enough. The job, or you'll set off the alarm yourself. Your corpse is useless to me. Whoa! Ooh, we got a problem here. Yeah. Turret, careful. Yeah, I, yep. There was a turret there. Just, uh, no! I guess that could have been worse. Access, access needed. How did I get down there without, oh, I guess it was downhill. Alright, so I got a, wait, is this where the recharger thing is? Can you help us with the Penguin Zero Lego Star Wars situation? I don't know what that is. And if it's with YouTube, odds are odds are no. That's I don't work for YouTube. Putting Lego Star Wars: The Complete Saga on the moist meter. That's sorry, dude. That's some that's some meme shit. You're gonna have to explain. Sorry. I did actually get a System Shock IP from some old lawyer company, but dev is going slow. Last I heard, 2020 is expected release. Yeah, I think I think Night Dive shifted their priorities around at some point, and they're still making it, but it did get pushed pushed down under some stuff. Is there another one? That's a monkey. That's a monkey with a brain poking out. Sorry, monkey. Voice me this Criticals review show. All right. Oh, so what's the what's the problem? Is he getting claimed or something? Ever since we reached Tau Ceti, the lab monkeys have been acting strangely. Hmm. Nurse Lesser picked one out of a case to be brought in for vivisection. And the rest of them. I mean, the entire group stood up on their legs and howled. This wasn't just a random display. It was a protest. Uh. 
Yeah, the monkeys have got this weird problem of having their brains poking under their skulls now. They were totally cool with it before, but... Something happened in Tau City. Ooh. I will open this crate. Nope. Yes. All the hypos belong to me. Is this music really gonna loop forever? I don't remember that. I remember a lot of this game being silent. Ah. Is there an option for that? Probably not. Weird. I, I don't remember that being the case. I don't know. Sounds like some people in chat have played this game before. Do you guys... Did the music loop for, like this? I mean, it's cool. Or it was cool for a minute. I always liked Half-Life's approach to the soundtracks. But... Hmm. It's the mod you added? Okay. Oh, I can research now. God. That's a terrifying thing. Alright, so hold up. Let me throw it over here. It's a bummer because that mod apparently really brushes up the, uh, the audio quality. Music kept going, but it will end. Wait, what does that mean? That it will end for me? Basically, do I need to unload the mod or not? Been trying for months, leaving comments with Lego avatars. You could tweet at him and ask him for a CB meme god. Ah. Uh, oh, I see what you mean. No, I'm good. Sounds like he doesn't want to do it, so. Med size like this, other levels not so much. Okay. Hmm. It stops when the alarm is done. Okay. But, okay, but this area, it does play that. Usually it doesn't. Maybe if I get to a new area. It doesn't play in the other areas as much. Okay. Gives the game a weird sense of urgency. Oh yeah, I can research this chunk. Wait, so I need... Didn't I get research? Or do I have to use it? What did I pick up? All I saw was research is now one. Oh boy. That actually runs down pretty quickly. Did I pick up? I don't know. Whatever. I guess I don't have research then. Jerks. Ah! How many Bioshock mentions? A few. Ah. I'll eat you. Fuck! God damn it! Oh yeah. This music is really good. It's become a bit of a back and forth with him in the community. Personally, I think it's getting pretty annoying to scroll down the comments and only see the LEGO Star Wars comments. Yeah. It does sound like the kind of thing in this, like, okay. We get it. He threw the game in the trash on Christmas Day. Oh, well, sounds like... Sounds like he's over it. Ow. Wait. God damn it. I've already been in there. And I did take damage from falling. God. You cannot fall anywhere in this game. Okay, wait. Shit down there that I want. Okay, how can I... Back with the crates. Oh. Got it. What's your favorite shot game? I love Prey. Uh, apparently that was Prey's code name in the company. Yeah, I love Prey a lot too. To me, if Prey were System Shock 3, and apparently it is, I love it. I think it, I think it, it seemed to not, it seemed to not super deliver on some of the things that it had going on. Like the ability to tag individual people and have them all wandering around the station doing their own thing. Uh, sounds like... A, something that could be really cool when it's interconnected with a bunch of other systems. So we should give up. I mean, do you actually want to watch that video? You're asking someone to do a lot of work for something that, for you, is just like a, huh, like it's just a joke. So, yeah, give up. What's the, what's the point? 
It wouldn't get a lot of views. It's just an in-joke. I was really disappointed by Prey, but really? I liked it a lot. I guess I wasn't expecting a, a shock game. Yeah, don't forget about Celeste, for sure. Absolutely. Alright. Where is... So I have to charge the cell, and I was told to do that somehow. Well, I guess, check on your... No, other one. I'm getting strange reading. Xerxes has control of the ship's security system. Avoid... Damn. The power outage has also taken out access to this bulkhead. It's the only way to get to the... Should be another one on this deck. Pick up the battery from okay. the floor and find a recharger. The one you used before is... I guess I... I just have to find a charger. Should be another one on this deck. Are those on the map? Once you get the battery recharged, place it in the auxiliary override. Recharge station is a lightning bolt. Ooh. Okay, there is one there. I guess I can go through. Wait. Okay, good. Okay, go down this hallway. Okay. Wait. Okay, that's what door- I'm trying to figure out what doors look like. There we go. Nope. Holy shit, what's going on? There! God. Yeah, why wasn't I- I was just turning the wrong way. Okay. So many menus. I'll get it. Oh! Computer control station? Okay. It's just random chance. Yeah, just click. Click until you... Oh, I see. Fuck off! God! 15% chance. I think. Oh, boy. Oh, you got a shotgun! Oh! Oh! Wow! Oh, it's jammed. Thanks, buddy. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit, that's an empty hallway! But past the turret is where I need to go now. Yeah, I need to check out Moon Crash. I haven't played that yet. Moon Crash is really good? That's great to hear. I need to, I need to check it out. You can fix jam weapons, yeah, but I don't have... I don't have, uh, repair at all. This is early in the game. Uh, Super Pranky? Yeah, I did finish Red Dead. Uh, I really, really liked it. I liked it a lot. It's a very memorable game. As far as the animations and stuff, I respect the fact that they're willing to do it. I think it makes me remember the game a lot more. I think it's important. I think it's important to have that stuff in a game so you don't break your immersion with video game stuff too much. Use AP rounds? I don't think I have any. Otherwise, I would. I do. What's the button to s Oh, that's the hypo button. Oh, F switches ammo, okay. I'm gonna wait for this alarm to stop and then I'll take out that turret. How long did it take at a non-rushing pace? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know what my playtime was. I'd have to check. I would guess somewhere in the 30 hour range. Maybe 40? I did a lot of side quests. But I really enjoyed it. Moon Crash is an immersive sim combined with roguelite. Yeah, so the roguelite aspect I didn't really understand. Uh, I didn't get how they could combine those things, but I, I need to check it out. I mean, I guess for this, for this phase of the game, when you're sneaking around and getting items and upgrading your character, there's no, I guess, need for... Uh, fuck. Hack turret. I'd love to. Damn! Crap, alright. What, what? 
Oh, you can't go this way? Oh. You can put markers? That's kind of cool. Is there a way to delete them? Well, who cares? Whatever. Uh, okay, oops. That's a whoopsie. That's a whoopsie doopsie. Oh, you can put, you can write in them? Oh, that's cool! Wow, I forgot this game had that. Not bad. Uh, okay, is there a way to get up there? Is there a ladder? Maybe? I already checked you guys. Uh, can I wiggle in here? This doesn't seem intended. Oh boy. Oh, come on. No? I don't think those break anyway. You can unlock different characters in Moon, Moon Crush. Crash. Each of. Also, each run will be different. Oh, that's really interesting. I I like roguelikes and I like games like this. So, man, you guys have sold me on it. You can do that in System Shock One. Uh oh, put down markers and name them. Okay, that's cool. I really had no idea. I guess there's no way to. Whatever. Okay, I guess I go the long way around again. So, down here to the left. Shit, he's got a gun. Fuck! Oh, he's pipe. He's pipe man. Hey. Watch one of the... Watch film us for Spider-Verse. And one of the trailers they were playing, it said... It was only in theaters this year. Weird. That means tomorrow's the last day to see it. I guess... I don't know. That is weird. That's a good question. Okay, through here, I guess. Shit. Ah, uh, sweet, sweet soda. I always love, like, TMI-style sound effects. Okay, I was in- wait. Was I in this room and I just didn't use it? Yeah, I didn't- I did not walk that way. Oh, wait, no, it's in the other room. Okay, but still, that- that is the problem. I just didn't go over here. Oh, wait, I can't get in there! Hey! Down there, maybe? Can I play Time Splitters? Yes, quite a bit. Back in the day? Okay, that's nice. Oh. God damn it. Hmm. This game seems awesome. It is awesome. I'm just, uh... I feel like I'm missing something obvious here. But it's just not... Oh, so I guess I need to I need to find somebody's card. There might be a corpse I just didn't search or something. Or like a drawer I didn't look in. Well. Always good to get items, I guess. Bong. Hmm. Played Half-Life 3? Yeah. Yeah. I made Half-Life 3 and then I played it. And it's awesome. And then I deleted it. I deleted it and I laughed. This is weird. Like, there's a charger right there! And... Why, why have this room here? You're just, you're toying with me. Also, I feel like this is early in the game to like be having people go on weird, uh, find a, find a key card wherever it happens to be kind of side paths. Hmm. Maybe I'm, uh, also, also, maybe I'm an idiot and I just didn't notice something. Alright, what's over here? 
Place I haven't been. All right. Shit. Run. Fucker. Fuck. Swing. No. Oh. oh. God. What does liquor do? Okay. Raises health. Lowers magic. That is exactly what I want right now. Ugh. Each deck has a chemical storeroom where you can find the resources you need to research the artifacts you'll find around the ship. Don't try to carry around all the chemicals at once. It's impractical and unnecessary. Your research software will tell you what chemicals it needs and when. Actually... Oof. Okay, we're back on track. You don't need to carry around all these chemicals, right? Let's see. Really careful cook saves to save once with five left. On top of sparking wire and each time loaded, it killed me. Yeah, at least this game has auto saves. But it is wise advice. Uh, however, I'm gonna heed nature's advice and go use the restroom. I'll be right back. Should be quick. Changing the world of video forever. You see, when New Tech created the video toaster, our goal wasn't to be as good as, it was to be better. It wasn't just evolution, it was revolution. A leap, a shift. Yeah, the paradigm shift. So buckle up your seatbelt, Jack, and open up your mind. And let the video toaster take you places you've never been before. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I felt... I felt a little bad uh, talking about the... Uh, Lego Harry Potter thing. Um, so I don't want to make it seem like something like that is, is rude. It's, I, it actually sounds kind of endearing and kind of funny, but... It sounds like maybe the joke has run its course, that's all. Oh! Ooh, boy. Shit. Oh, boy. Fuck! Wow! Man! I'm... Yeah, okay. Each deck has a chemical storeroom where you can find the resources you need to research the artifacts you'll find around the ship. Don't try to carry around all the chemicals at once. It's impractical and unnecessary. Your research software will tell you what chemicals it needs and when. This is literally Dark Souls? It kinda is, right? Like, two enemies is a huge deal. It's very much like, abuse their, their animation cycles and stuff. Punish moves. Enemies that are, are usually uh, not a problem become a problem if you get hit or get a caught off, off guard or something like that. This game is Dark Souls.
I didn't know that Ken Levine. Fuck! The unauthorized usage of firearms aboard the Von Krohn is a class 3 infraction. Damn you, Xerxes. Uh, okay. Oh, there's explosive barrels in here. That's interesting. Do you want to know the stuff you need to spec into to not lock yourself out? Uh, what do you mean by lock yourself out? What happens? Is this game like not... Can you get to where you can't proceed? Did that take out the turret? It did a very marginal amount of damage. Look it up. Or look up. Oh. What? Or do you mean me as a human? You can sort of soft lock it? Or are you talking about Hydrobot? That up. I've been drinking enough water. Why do you think I'd use the restroom? Anyway. Um, this is a tight spot. It's the teasing room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I remember that. I mean, I remember seeing it from the other side. Um, okay. Let me see if I can... I don't have that many bullets. Ugh. Oh my god. Fucking Christ. Okay, they take a while to spin up, so... Whack it to death? I can't get close. I could maybe, like, abuse the corner and smack it one of them. But the other one might, uh, would still shoot me. Do you want to see the video? But like you said, uh, if you don't want it, we should just stop. And it won't be the last guy memeing it now. <laughs> uh, sure. I, I I guess... Yeah, okay. I just didn't want to seem like I was harsh. And the last thing I ever want is, is for things that are done out of, like, uh, goodwill or with a fun spirit to be seen as, like, uh, annoying, you know? That sounds like something that might be, might be done in good fun. Uh, how? how? A old butter shoes. Uh, I don't know if I can. Wow. Woo! 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 Woo wee! We are done in there. Wow. I'm gonna lock that door. Saw that. Oh, the music stopped. Alright. Next up, I play a little barnacle porn. Hold on a second. I'm gonna. I wanna. You guys saw that, right? Hey. I. I. I did. Did monsters respawn? The quieter portion of the ship, I guess. Are they? Disturbed. No metal. Fuck. No! Don't! Fuck! Shit. God. Since you can die in like two hits, every single encounter is terrifying. What the hell is that sound? I heard that before. It didn't sound good then. Oh, okay. Final difficulty, 15%. Does that mean every time I click, I have a 15% chance of... Security system offline. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, I can go back and uh, beat those turrets to death. I mean, they have bullets in them sometimes. Oh, there goes the music again. Weird. This is the same engine as Thief. Yeah. Well, I thought it was... No, it is It is Thief. Yeah, you're right. Oh, it hurts you! Come on! Nothing! Ah! Come on. They blow up? Yeah, you're... You, you're right. Wow! Holy crap! Oh my gosh, no. 
I mean, it's handy to not... It's handy to not have to worry about security, but shit, man. Alright. Is there like a mech? There's like a Robocop around here. Oh yeah, I got the battery. Okay. Uploading some cybernetic modules. Find and upgrade unit as soon as you can and improve your rig. Yes! Mom gave me more cyber modules! This is gonna be the best weekend ever! Good. You've managed to get into med. Now find Grassy and get the keycard to the crew sector. He's the one who monitored your cryo sleep, so he might be interested in joining you. If he hasn't been butchered yet. Yeah, I'm sure he's alive. I'm sure he's super alive. Oh, okay. Looking Glass's main engine was the dark engine? Okay. This looks like this looks like a Quake 2 derivative. I mean that was the that was the engine for a while. Strange phenomena. Your R grade cyber rig has an experimental perception enhancement that can theoretically detect residual psychic emanations. These emanations traditionally come from the recently dead. Literature might call them ghosts. I call them self-hypnotic defects in the R-grade unit. Don't let it distract you from the job at hand. The monkeys are psychic! I forgot! Hey, dude! Oh! They jumped through windows! Oh! God damn it! Fuck! I, th I didn't think it could make it through! Oh, there's another- Oh, come on! COME ON! Shit! <laughs> Fuck you! Is that a camera? With the there's more monkeys! Oh, is it because- The fucking- This was all supposed to be killed by, like, the security system. But I hacked it, so it didn't work. So now they all killed me. I bet, because I can hear I can hear a camera clicking. Wait, no. The hack didn't carry. You've managed to get into me. Why are there so many monkeys? Grassy and get the key card to the crew sector. He's the one who monitored your cryos. I'm not going that way. He might be interested in joining you. If he hasn't been butchered yet. Intruder entering medical sector A. Intruder. The many demands to know your intentions. Hey! Do you not know of her intentions, of her history? She once tried to destroy your species, and now you do her bidding. Intruder entering medical sector A. Xerxes trying to bargain all of a sudden. I don't like the sound of that. the lab monkeys are communicating with each other. I assure you it's quite impossible. You claim that one monkey signed the passcode for a supply closet to another, and the latter proceeded to open it. As I'm sure you know, there have literally been tens of thousands of studies of primate intelligence, and there's no evidence of behavior even remotely that sophisticated. So either you've single-handedly trumped the entire field of animal behaviorists, or you're badly in need of a vacation. Man, what a cock. You are wrong because there's no way you are smart enough to discover something. We are scientists and we will keep the science. Thank you. Running any mods or textures? Uh, yeah, both actually. A lot. I, I basically downloaded all the recommended mods. I found a guide on Steam forums. And stocked it up to the brim with mods. So. That's what, that's what I'm playing. Ooh. Oh, nanites. Oh. Said, ooh, nanites. All right. Ten. That's worth it. Oh, wait, I was down there just a second ago. I hear a monkey and it's freaking me out. I forgot that, yeah. All of the enemy, enemies have, uh, like, audio callouts to make you really terrified of them. Is this game better than Bioshock? I'm realizing that because the combat is so much more, uh, so much more intense, so much more difficult, it does give it a diff- I don't like that. It does- it is different, and I think I prefer it 
to like, I prefer like a hard Dark Souls-y thing to a more console shooter. Damn it! Damn it! That's it! That's it, that's all of it. That's every last bullet I have. I can't raise anybody down in engineering. With the lifts out, I'll need to get down there through the emergency conduit in the Psi Annex. I think the access code is in Watts's lab. Watson's lab has the code. Roger Dodger. I'd say it's more clunky on purpose. It is it is clunkier. Yeah. I don't know, uh I don't know exactly how like intentional that stuff is. I don't think anyone makes a clunky game on purpose. I think what happens is a game has a or a developer has a uh, like a a mechanic set in mind. They have a game set of actions they want you to be able to do, and then they want you to have stats and gear and all these things. But then you have to have UI for it, which means you have to have button presses, which means you have a certain UX flow. Uh, I think I think stuff like Resident Evil and System Shock 2 are sort of, their feel is sort of driven by that. So Resident Evil has pre-rendered backgrounds, right? So the only control scheme you can use is tank. Uh, and I don't think PlayStation could probably handle drawing menu items over uh, the screens that they had. Um, there were some in-game menuing in some of those games, but I'm going to guess it dips to status screen because they wanted to provide high-resolution uh, item pictures of all the, the menu item stuff. I think a lot of that stuff is driven a lot more by... And this is this is anecdotal shit, but I, it feels to me like games, games feel is driven more by technological limitation and how broad the action set of a game is. The more you can do... The more buttons you need, the more UI you need. You can do a lot in Red Dead. It doesn't flow very well as a result. I think that's why PC games are always like, you gotta read the manual, there's a, a million buttons. Uh, oh boy, this is the monkey hallway. Ah, oh, shit. You might witness some strange phenomena. Your R-grade cyber rig has an experimental perception enhancement that can theoretically detect residual psychic emanations. These emanations traditionally come from the recently dead. Literature might call them ghosts. I call them self-hypnotic defects in the R-grade unit. Don't let it distract you from the job at hand. Does the game pause? No, it doesn't. Uh, I was hoping to find a security station. What happens if I switch zones? I guess I'll just hang out in here. Some monkeys come. So the monkeys were after me because I sounded the alarm, right? And the alarm causes more enemies to spawn? Oh, I didn't need to eat those, whatever. Panic eating chips in the in the airlock. <sighs> Thank you, Carnage. Which which is the best? Oh, you guys are talking about like fast casual sandwiches? I like which which bread a lot. I can fuck with that. Um I like Jimmy John's a lot. I think Jimmy John's might be my favorite. They will infinity spawn when the alarm is on. Okay. And uh, when the alarm is off, like, they just respawn every so often, like in areas that you're not in. I gotta find where that camera is, man. That is, that is messing me up. I remember this too. It's like in most in most uh, areas, I would make a mental note of where the security station was, so I could just sprint back to it and deactivate alarms as soon as possible. Jimmy John says hard ass bread. I like it though. That's what I like about it. It's dense. It's chewy. It's chewy and like kind of buttery and squishy, but it's got a crust. 
Security alert terminated. If you're not man enough to eat Captain Crunch, you're not man enough for Jimmy John's. Alright, where's this camera? Is it in this room? Or is it in the hallway or something? I'm gonna get you. There you are. Okay. Okay, so cameras can see you through windows. That's, that's kind of cool. <sighs> it's silly that I'm dying this much. I, I, I'm, I have a fair amount of hypos. Hey. Uh oh, it's only five? Okay, that's not expensive. Worth it for bullets, baby. <sighs> Jimmy Giants gets a bread from Philly? That's cool. I was just thinking there are some major American cities that I don't I've never been to, and I don't have any idea of their identity or character. Philly, Detroit. I've finally been to Chicago a bit. Went to some museums, like I feel like I Went to some restaurants, like, okay, 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 okay. I, uh, that's awesome. St. Louis? I don't know anything about these places. Cleveland? Where did everybody go? Is this some kind of joke? Hello? Ghosts. Cyber ghosts. Whose idea was it to bring 150 chimpanzees on board anyway? The interest of science? What about the interest of hygiene? Does anybody have any idea how much crap 150 lab monkeys make in a day? The poor chimps. They come on board for the most historic mission of all time. And they end up being chopped into little pieces in the name of progress. And that chimp got goddamn cold clocked. You're originally from LA or another part of the world. Uh, I am from a small town in Texas. Went from there to Dallas. For uh, college, and because I had big city dreams, and then eventually moved out to LA. Here, radiation. Radiation hazard. Radiation hazard. Ow. <laughs> oh, that's not so bad. Oh, there's more. Got to loot quickly. Uh, that's it. Make sure I don't miss anything. See anything in there? Nothing. Oh, it's hurting a lot more now. Woo! Oh, I should have used that before I went in. I thought it built up kind of like uh, Fallout, but I guess not. Didn't you don't didn't you grow up in Richardson? You don't mind me asking if you do? A shopping center with all the Chinese restaurants, food is so goddamn good. Uh, I didn't grow up in Richardson. I went to college there, but yes, I think I know exactly what you're talking about. So I went Bistro B in Fun Ninety Five. And the, uh, Asian grocery store? Yeah, I guess that's Richardson, yeah. No, I love Bistro B. Every time I go back to- assuming that's what you're talking about. Um, every time I go back to Dallas, that, I go there. Oh, you're originally from Ru Russia, Opticrime? I've never been to Russia. I'd like to go someday. Never did get the appeal of LA, but I live in New York City, so different worlds. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. There are things... So, I, I've never lived in Manhattan or New York for any amount of time. Just visited. Oh, hold on. Let me... Oh. So, I don't... I don't know what the flow of life is like in New York City. At least pretty cool, though. There's traffic, but whatever. The weather's always great. People are by and large... Fairly chill here. Damn it. Really? Uh. Oh, thank God. God damn it. That's it? Just items? It freaks me out every time there's no nothing of, like... Story merit in one of those rooms. Uh. 
Don't visit Russia. I care about you without a good guide, it would be horrible for you. Yeah, I guess I would I would need to do a lot of research or have a guide. Is there is there no like on your own find a good time in Russia a way to do things? Okay, well there's a security system. I remember hacking those a lot and then getting so comfortable with there not being security that I would forget to break cameras. Shit. Fuck. God damn. Ugh. Okay, I, man, sometimes I think there's a. I think the, uh. I think the game records your mouse movement during scene menu transitions and then pops you where your mouse would be. Um. How did you feel about Vancouver? I liked Vancouver a lot. Vancouver and Toronto were both very cool. Actually, everyone I went to in Canada was pretty great. Now begins the creative problem solving. Oh. Is there like a you have to get around this door kind of thing? Oh. Alright! I've done the software. Okay, I... So that was the research thing I picked up before. But it says that that does not... Okay, yeah. Does not help meet minimum requirements, so... I should buy upgrades. Is there a way to... Upgrade unit. Well, I guess it's not... I haven't gotten there yet. Hmm. I feel like this game shines in those oh shit moments, like when you run out of ammo or health. Yeah, for sure. Because you're... Since every encounter is, is so critical, every little thing... Is life or death, so yeah, a bullet going clink. I saw that. Fuck! Ah! Uh, okay. I guess I have armor. My dad used to run a comic shop in Queens called Silver Age Comics back in the day, and this happened more recently, but they were filming Spider Man Homecoming near him by, and Tom Holland just showed up at the shop. Like, hey guys. Huh. That's pretty cool. Was he buying comics? Ow. No! If so, what did he buy? Is he a true true comic fan or what? First person Resident Evil? It kind of is that, yeah. It's cool. I was just actually just getting the urge, the itch to play Resident Evil. I have one anti-armor bullet. Potential. Motherfucker! Really? Potential threat detected. Alright, we're gonna wait in here. What is a thought? Language barrier is the hardest thing uh, in Russia. Hard on your own to find people that will speak English, but I guess the apps you'll be able to communicate. Good point. Yeah, I, I take for granted the communication aspect, because all the places I've been have been very comfortable. Oh, come on. In regards to English speakers. Man, even the alarm dudes don't come with items? That sucks. I didn't even put up a fight. Good. I well, didn't have any items on him either, so... That's what he gets. Also, this guy smells and... Ah! Oh! Alright. Wait. I still needed some stuff over there, right? Well, whatever, I can just... Ah! Hey. Good. God damn it. I shouldn't have wasted the bullet. That's what I'm... That's what I'm upset about right now. Okay. 
Oh, cool. Well done. I'm uploading some cybernetic modules. Find an upgrade unit as soon as you can. Patient Watson died at 0240 of non-specific causes. Despite zero respiratory and brain function, the body is still displaying autonomous motor function, as does the parasite. At 0847, the patient even spoke to one of the nurses. Autopsy is set for 1630, and then we'll see what makes this Lazarus tick. It's evil stuff, man. Alien shit. You don't want to be fucking with it, alright? Because now I'm wandering around with a fucking pipe, trying to hack my way out of this situation. Oh boy. As much of a shit movie as it was, Amazing Spider-Man 2 was the best Spidey suit? I think I agree with that. Most accurate. Okay. Okay. Have you watched any GDC talks? Seems like something would be up your alley. One of my favorites to watch was Valve explaining Team Fortress 2. Not long it took to nail the art style. Uh, I haven't seen that one. I need... I need... I should. Uh, I have been to GDC, and I was went to talks when I was there, but uh, I haven't looked them up online now. Good, you've made it into the crew sector. Now find Doctor Watts' room. Ah, uh, that's a guy. That's a dude. That's a shotgun man. Oh, he's running. He's running. Okay. Okay, well, we're doing this again, okay. Silence the bird! Backed me into a corner, you jerk. Very Dark Souls of you. Worst suit is Amazing Spider-Man 1? Yeah, it wasn't great. That's the one I remember, sadly. I'm trying to think of what Amazing Spider-Man 2 looked like. Art server offline. But what about my Spider Pig Spider Noir slash fanfiction magazine? I'm gonna read that. Let me read it! Ah! Bah! We have picked up a transmission from the surface of Tau City 5. I've been in negotiation with Captain D. F. Fucker, and after some coercion, He's agreed to go planet side as a joint venture. Imagine, this historic mission might even become more historic. First contact. And who is there to get exclusive rights to all media, patents, and land grants? Try Optimum. Miri, I told you this would be worth it. We found us a pretty new planet. Oh. There's no reason for me to drink that, but I'm not gonna waste any soda. Oh. A grenade launcher? Oh, it's broken. Yeah, I guess in, until I get repaired, there's really no reason to carry that shit around, huh? Hi there. Please make your selection. Hack skill three. I've never been more embarrassed. People online compare, compare Noir, Noir and him to just grab it and Roger. Man. God bless Spider Noir. I have a lot of shotgun shells. It'd be cool to have a shotgun. But I guess I gotta wait. I can't- I haven't earned it yet. Have you ever played with fans before? Um... I had not as an institution, no. I think it's happened incidentally, because... I remember, uh, played with some people in Battlefield 5. And then... Like, Red Dead Online and stuff. But... I do not- I have not, like, staged it or anything like that. But I'm not against it. I also just don't end up playing a whole lot of multiplayer games. Solid solitary that way. Let's see here. Stats. Oh, interesting. Might be worth buying some base stats then, just so I'm not so flimsy. OS up oh. Oh, I get perks. Super 
Cyber module upgrade bonus sounds like a good start. Whoa! Many destroyed robots and use it to heal 15 points. That seems pretty good. Melee sounds good. Plus two hacking skill. Apply oh, only in security. This seems good for now. Hmm. These are actually pretty interesting. You play GTA all the time with fans? Yeah. Uh, there's that. Sure. That's kind of work stuff. I when I'm talking here, I'm talking like in context of streaming and stuff. Scarlet Spider is also best. Crop Top Spider, also, also good. Um, one v one in Smash. I might do. It'd be fun to do a Smash lobby. I feel like I need to figure it out, like all of it, the flow of it. <sighs> do I take the obvious thing that's not useful later? These upgrades will last forever, so. Did I do it? I did, okay. Uh, yeah, maybe I should get some stats. Are there any of the other stations around? I want to buy hacking! No? Security forces have been alerted to your presence. Oh, they're upstairs. The glory of the many demands your capture or destruction. Who is the many? Uh, oh yeah, I need research. More hack. Obviously. So now I can hack. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh... Base amount of damage. Seems good. I'll just grab some basic stats since they're pretty cheap. And that's it. I'm all kitted out now. Uh, I guess. Oh, I can research. Yes. There it goes. I also have this thing. Kidney shaped organ controls. I just gotta stare at it. No chemicals. Save the points. I didn't. Hey, Lindorn. Welcome. There is a psy psionic skill that lets you hack range. To Ooh. That sounds good. Yeah, I should probably take at least take a look at psionic stuff. I, I haven't touched it yet. Actually, yeah, we're gonna be. Oh, you have to learn skills individually. Yeah, okay, well, nothing going on then. Bruce ever finished GTA in first place? Search complete. Oh, great. All damage, hybrids will increase 25%. Hey, hey, hey! What the shit? Are we joined? Don't do that! Oh, one hit! Yes, yes, yes. I've leveled up. Okay, so I can get rid of all these now, I guess. That's my catchphrase in my in my movie where I'm a superhero but also a gamer. I've leveled up. Yeah, I'm leveled up! <sighs> Finish Ellie Noir. Jacob, thank you. Thank you for reminding me of the things I should do with my life. Yo, is this something I can hack? It is. All that for one anti-radiation hypo. Proximity grenade? That'll be good to know. spider went did look awesome. I'm glad that you said that. Alright. Cool. No, 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 no! So it takes the cameras a while to like go back to not nearly alarm state, right? There's a sound, I think? Rio, you did full psionics for your run. Guns are basically useless. Had to get really creative to progress. That sounds like a fun, a fun challenge. What? A 
Okay, so there is no, like, I'm not looking any more sound, I guess. Man, come on! Eh. Okay, so, if it sees you once, it turns yellow. And then you have a period of time. But if it sees you again while it's yellow, it immediately uh, goes to alarm, I guess? And you don't know, after it's yellow, how long it takes for it to turn back to green. Spider-Punk is great. That was one thing that I, uh... There's a skill and upgrade that makes it so cameras take just a bit longer to go to an alert phase. That sounds good. Uh... Rolling it all the way back, that's one of the things I did dearly love about Spider-Man, is just how amazing all the... Whew. How amazing all the suits were. Like it was, it was so good. That was that was one of the big motivators for me to play the endgame stuff is to unlock all the suits. However, they were gonna have me do a bunch of Taskmaster shit, and even unlocking all the suits wasn't enough of a of a. What? I oh, man, I'm so bad at seeing these. Well, whatever. I can I can one hit these fuckers now. So. Fucking come, come on to Flavor Town, dicks! I'm gonna drink your soda before you hit the floor. Look at this, stacking him up. It's like Hitman. Oh my god, he's got a little, got a little zombie butt. Oh, oh, he didn't go down. Look at the little zombie butt. Look at him. I forgot to I forgot to research that other monkey part. Oh boy. Maybe I should try to go for the the um terminal? I'm sorry. Give me some of the happy feet there. That was interesting. just got a lot easier. I'm sure they're gonna fuck with me whenever there's some new stuff, but... Hey, Dante Ben. Welcome. Yeah, that was a, that was a drowning pool moment for sure. I need to put a button on, uh, on my stream deck that just plays Let the Bodies Hit the Floor. Ball challenges? What are you talking about? All right. Don't need it. Wow, you're incredible. Do you know that? I made this game where I tried not to make myself think about you. What a moron. I love you, Rebecca, and I've got the plan. I've been buttering up the captain to transfer me from the Rick and Barker to the Goodwill team on the Van Braun. Pretty soon, nothing will keep us apart. Yeah, that is that is voice acting. It is present. Present and accounted for. This Spider-Man DLC, there are new challenges called Screwball Challenges, and she is some streamer, and everyone says she's super annoying. Oh, like in the, in the world of Spider-Man, Screwball is a streamer that is challenging you to do things? Okay. Is it like fun annoying or is it like straight up really annoying? Marie, I 
I'm sorry I've been out of touch. Pretty much. I've been working on that artifact Bayless brought back from Tau City 5. Now I'm curious. I've done a level 3 analysis on it. I think it's some kind of artificial intelligence. I've managed to pull an audio tag file out of its memory. I'll let you be the judge. That's right, because it's American. Oh well. Watts is the only one with a nameplate, so... I got there. You get the day off tomorrow? Yep. That's awesome. And the day after, too. So I can recover. So he's probably in his office in the R&D sector. Maybe he's got a backup R&D card in here. Take a look around. Good work. Here are some more cyber modules. Spend them wisely. They're not easy to locate. Enjoy your cyber modules, human. I guess she's human too. Yeah. This is Xerxes. Remember, replicator restrictions are in place for the good of all of us. All unauthorized database interactions will be dealt with to the utmost degree of the law. So what did I just get? R&D sector? That was in the other area, right? Yeah, I'm not going to be partying super hard. I'll be partying, like, partying hard for me is... My favorite hard party is chilling out with some close friends and watching dumb movies and playing video games. And... That's what, that's what is on deck. For tomorrow night, I'm really excited. It's, it's a cool moment, man. R&D. Oh, this is that door that was locked? Over here? Wait, the door that I went through? No. Eh? Can, I, can you come to my place? Uh, I don't know that we have a cheese tray big enough for everybody. If you think about this game and the general era of design for games back then. Personally, I like it. doesn't treat me like a baby. But then there's some stuff more when where it throws you to the wolves. Yeah. What I wish, my, my Christmas wish, is that we could combine that era of game development when it was like, we're making it for PC, we're making it for high-res display, we're making it for an input device that is a mouse and a million buttons. Um... So we can make complicated things for an, an audience that is used to complicated games. I wish we could combine that with what we have now, which is the internet and streaming and community. Uh, is it, this is the door, right? Yeah, okay. Well done. I'm uploading some cybernetic modules. Find an upgrade unit as soon as you can. I mean, oh, okay. Thank you for choosing value wrap. God, bullets are expensive. And also, my gun is breaking. I think games are getting back there, though. Fuck. They're hitting that level of sophistication. I think. Uh, Prey is a good example. Like, that game is... has most of the gameplay elements from something like System Shock 2. Oh, there was a little chirp. Okay. Is that just what the noise the camera makes? When it's searching? I don't know. Rockstar made the most niche AAA game out there. Red Dead... Red Dead 3 is not for everyone. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right about that. I think Red Dead is... It's very brave of Rockstar, and I'm not saying that condescendingly like I usually do. I do think it was, it was very brave of them to make the game the way they did and release it. That big. And that, uh... And unique and intense. Oh! Oh, you see markers in the world, okay. Oh, there's bullets over there? What? Oh man! I don't want to run around the entire level to get bullets, but I probably will run around the entire level to get bullets. Dr. Watts is alive and in his office. He should know the code to the maintenance access shaft. 
Hurry! He's been badly wounded. Don't let him die before he tells you that number. I'm gonna need to buy... Uh... I'm gonna need to buy repair at some point. Anatoly, there's only so much corporate calisthenics I can go through before I start to feel a little queasy, so let's get down to brass tacks here. We don't like each other. We each have our own motivations for undertaking this mission, so let me give you a little warning. I cannot be circumvented. I cannot be tricked. I cannot be manipulated. And I cannot be bought. You come at me straight and keep the fancy maneuvers for your next board meeting. Just because my father swam with the sharks doesn't mean that I do. Really laying it out there. Oh, that's a shotgun! Yeah. Slugs for goddamn days. I mean, I'm probably gonna run through this really quickly, but whatever. Someone subbed? Oh! Dante! Hey, thank you! Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Delicious money. That makes the dream work here. Here in the lab. Here in the studio. Cranking out hits all day. Uh, changing the course of humanity is what I'd say is, ha is happening here. It's exciting. And uh, you should consider yourself very lucky to be a part of it. At this, at this groundswell of amazement. Let's see here. Hmm. Nah. I was thinking it, but then I wasn't thinking it. Uh, I remember there being a really good track in this. Oh, wait, no, this isn't the right. Hmm. This one. Yeah. All right. Dr. Levin, thanks for the resub, dude. Almost a year, huh? Good shit. All right, Dante. This is the society we live in, and I hope you like it. Yeah, Sir Sloan, I've, I've heard of Gogo Bordello. I, I enjoy them, but uh, not something I listen to every day. It's good. It's good for a... It's good for a, a bash up, whatever that means. DOS 1, DOS 2, got 30 hours to fill off. Finished one though, seven years total. DOS. DOS. What does DOS stand for? Which games need difficulty selection because big games are less complex. For example, Mass Effect, you've been told about this Krogan race of warriors was so scarier there than on your first contact with Krogan. You'd kill him in a few shots because it was easy mode. Um, oh, Divinity Real Descent. Gotcha. Thank you. I want to play two. Uh, uh, but to your question. Yeah, it's tough, right? Theoretically, there'd be a beat where you, like, fight a Krogan and it's scripted, but not in a way that put, pushes you to a game state to make gameplay match. But when you make a game that's about shooting and killing a lot of stuff, because that's what people want to do, your options are somewhat limited. You need, like, in the narrative, a bank of faceless, repetitive entities for players to shoot at and kill um it's so like in this game it's zombies you only need a few zombies and they they all they all look like zombies but uh that's shoot also why you'll have like aliens wearing visors and stuff helmets uh i don't know it's it's a good point i think you're pointing to some of the more shit fundamentally broken aspects of mass effect Security system offline. Are you in a Dragon Age? Yes. I like Dragon Age a lot. I like Dragon Age Origins a lot. I'm gonna play Inquisition one of these days. I think. Jacob convinced me. He keeps telling me it's a good game. Oh dear. That's great. Man. Okay. The thing is, like, you can still die in a couple of hits, so... Even even having offense doesn't mean the game's easy. 
or trivial. Give me this bullet. Take your trash. Oh, dude. You did not have a good moment. Your final moments on this planet were not hospitable. <laughs> well, Jacob, sorry. I said it, and it's true. It's true now. They're not dead. They want you, you understand? They want you as a host. Get away. Calm down already. The access code to the conduit is 12451. I've got an autopsy at 1630, but let's grab a beer on the recreation deck afterwards. Sound good? 12451. You guys remember that in chat? Oh, man. That takes a lot of ammo, actually. Man, that guy had seven shells, though. Yeah, I, I mean, Mass Effect, honestly, is kind of littered with examples of what you're talking about. Disconnects between narrative and... Oh, I need... Oh, that's what that meant. Fermium, okay. Disconnects between narrative and... Uh, gameplay experience? Ideally, the two are unified. Sometimes that's just not possible. Rio, shit, thank you for the sub, dude. Uh, yeah, I mean, think about it this way. Let me fucking deep thought you for a second. If video game game design, the stuff that you do, hold on, let me, let me hit this. All right. If, if the design of a game and the narrative of a game matched, most big games would be about a superhuman person that runs around murdering everyone and never faces a bad consequence for it. Like that would have to be an element of the narrative because that's what happens in the game. So, but instead, that gets replaced with a narrative about how, oh, how you undergo these trials and you have all these amazing relationships and all that stuff. Yeah, basically GTA. See, GTA is a good example of the story matching the narrative because they, you play as a sociopath, or a mass murderer, or whatever. These these things are not too far away from the characters that you play. Maybe maybe Franklin. He's a little, a little more even tempered that guy. Uh, but anyway, Doom is great in that regard. Yes, Snark, you're exactly right. Doom, in Doom you play a video game character. That's the that's written into the lore of the world, and all the characters react to you as such. That's one of the reasons I like it so much. It's the one game that looks and is what it plays like. Uh, so. <sighs> Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. But yeah, it's uh, I wonder if at some point this whole era of games will be looked back upon as like like embarrassingly quaint that we had all these games like Mass Effect that pitch you as this great hero and then just switch into a body count uh, simulator not even like an interesting one it's just let the bodies hit the floor shit over and over and over again I don't know maybe I'm maybe I'm being unfair it has been a while since I played Mass Effect the Mass Effects but I do remember just having a bad taste in my mouth. Alright. Let me play a track. Archmagus with the sub as well. Thank you. Okay, so Rio, I'm gonna play a track for you first. I'm gonna play a track for you. I think it's gonna be one of these. I think it might be this. Let me see. This was recommended by a... Uh... Yeah, this was recommended by a stream viewer. I don't recall which one, so I apologize about that, but please enjoy your song, Rio. Oh, we got another sub. Bunny McFluff. On that sub train, I don't want to say God of War isn't a great game, but it totally deserves every reward, but the major fights are just pressing one button and looking at the cool shit I want to do myself. I'm talking about the, uh, yeah, the, the canned scripted sequences? I'm, I am okay with that because I think games are at the point now where the cinematography can make it worth it. I, like, you're, I mean, you're talking about, like, the scripted chunks in Uncharted when you're, like, rolling down an exploding helicopter mountain or whatever. Um, stuff in Spider-Man. The, like, two or three story missions where you do some really cool shit and it's genuinely badass to see. Uh, 
I don't know. It's hard for me to to not like those because they just are cool to look at. To me, it works as a movie. Um, so I think when I when I go into those boss fights, I'm like, those are basically cutscenes. They let you hit a few buttons, but it's a cutscene. Um, so I just treat it as such mentally, and it's fine. Um, and I appreciate it. And then yeah, you're also a god, so it's not like it violates any of the rules. It, but it is a gameplay thing of like if you want the entire game to be Dark Souls. Can you imagine, man, if Dark Souls added like boss finishers where you just like jump on a dragon and then you're like stabbing it as it's flying through smashing through buildings like a fantasy town i don't know how people would react to that it worked really well for trailers um kind of like spider-man and like assassin's creed and like uncharted so i don't know uh disconnected thoughts uh, i got another song for bunny mcfluff uh, i like the song a lot so i hope you enjoy it yeah, Halo. Halo works. Uh, uh, in terms of just, like, same stuff. Making sure that you, uh... What you're doing doesn't break from the story that they're telling you. And the story they're telling you is that, yeah, you are a super soldier. Who has shields and guns. And there are aliens who are hard to kill but not unkillable. Uh, in groups. And, like, you're the only one. You're the only one who can do all that stuff. Uh, Half-Life's sort of the same way. Because you have the HEV suit, and they remark in the game, like, how can you do this? It doesn't make sense. But it never... I guess you do kill an awful lot of Combine in Half-Life. That does seem a little weird. People brought that up, and it's just... I think that's just sort of assumed. I think Halo probably ha deals with that better. That... there. I did it. I found something Halo does better than Half-Life. Uh, okay, so I got the code. I don't remember what the code's supposed to go to, or why I need it. Uh, let me see here. The time is 16.30. Autopsy subject A. Watson. Now we're going to make the first incision in... Hold him down. I'm Nurse. trying to! I'm trying to! Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, I need to go to the chemicals to, uh... Since returning from the surface of Tau Ceti 5, the patient has experienced numerous novel phenomena, evidenced by inflammatory nodular growth and the presence of a large, worm-like parasite. This morning, the parasite penetrated the subject's chest from the inside and attached one end of itself to the subject's forehead. If I remove it, it could kill the kid. If I leave it... <sighs> Final diagnosis beats the hell out of me. I'd love to refer this to Midorsky at CDC. I was kind of hoping it would show up on the map. Hmm. Uh, okay, I think I, yeah, I need to run around. Revolver, uh, Revolver Ocelot? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, Metal Gear, theoretically, is pretty good. You're a one-man, super sneaky sneak man. But god, the story of that game just goes off the Christing rails. The flipping rails! Hey? I thought I... I thought I heard a zombie. Isn't the chemical guy somewhere around here? And... No. We're on the other side of the hallway. But yeah, so what? Otacon fucked his stepmom. Who wouldn't? What the shit is that? What is that? I don't like this. Alright. Oh, I need to buy repair. Hey! Whoa! Hey! 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 Whoa! Hey! 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 God damn it! Oh, man. Oh, EE? -E? Yeah. All the parts of Metal Gear Solid 2 that people just kind of forget about. That weird middle part. All the swimming. It's trying to be so emotional. There we go. Need Fermium.
What? No. What? Oh, do I drag it on? Is that what I... Okay. <sighs> Security system online. Yeah. Dick Ropin. Metal Gear's had some amazing moments. We are lucky to share them. Uh, wow, I ran... I Wow, I used a lot of sh slugs very quickly. Upgrades are... around here, right? I thought they were... Oh. Lower level. What? Inset where? How do I know how to get down there? Cryo retraining facility? I guess it's in the cryo. Uh, I'll come across upgrade stations at some point. Who knows? All right, I still don't know exactly where I'm going. Uh, let's see. Dr. Watts is alive and in his office. He should know the code to the... Great. I've got to change the access codes out of Cryo A again. Cryo A? I've got nothing better to do. I think Grassy just likes to make oh. work for me. I'll set the new code to... Deck 4100. That should be easy enough to remember. We have to turn on the power so I can get up to Deck 4. Okay, well, there's the upgrade station, so... Oh yeah, I'm back here. Alright. I feel like I gotta repair my gun, so it does damage. Ouch. Shit. That's... that costs a lot. Alright. Maintaining? Wait, what? Repair is not maintain. Did I just buy the wrong skill? I mean, I'll probably need repair eventually, right? So, whatever. Maintain is different than repair. Repairing broken weapons or computer systems. Okay. My friend said it TBS. They have a new footage of Death Stranding and will release it early next year. TBS? What's that? Okay. More monkey damage. Throw your brains on the floor. Repair and maintenance are different. Yep. Well, whatever. I'm I'm YOLO one save file Sontag. Let's get it done. Elevator? No. Where am I supposed to use that code? It doesn't really say. I don't remember their... Out of Cryo A. Oh, is it this one? I didn't reserve... Yeah, okay. Maybe this maze this? Oh, no, wait. I hacked it. Never mind. Of course I hacked it. Was I here? It's been hacked. Archimagus, thank you for the gift sub. <sighs> there is a evil... I don't know, I, I think some people get into games for the money, for sure. But I think they're not stupid enough to think that they can get it without trying really hard. There's too many people fighting over that money for people to think that it's easy or that they can get away with a scam. I don't know though, the arc thing makes me wonder sometimes. I need to read up more on it though. I need to play it. I should just play it. I don't know. I say that, but then I'm also like, those games are boring and I don't like them. Don't be afraid to drop items. They don't despawn when you go into other rooms. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Did I get a, uh, oh. Wait, who is doing? Oh, KZ Frew is a GTA speedrunner. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You guys watch the streams? Right on. Thank you. Letting me know. Arcane, so they could just use their subsidiaries to publish and most people wouldn't even realize it? Oh, did Arcane publish it? Oh, is... Oh, 
Oh! Oh! What was the key? Do you guys remember the code? I mean, I'm just gonna pull it up again, but... Yeah, there it is. So exciting to do not waste time patting yourself on the back. Get down to that shaft engineering and reset the Oh man, it's a whole other area, huh? That's a hand. You're now on the engineering deck. Find the engine core and reset it. This will restore power to the elevators. I'm getting some kind of strange readings from down there, so keep your eyes open. It takes, it takes six to hack your game, your Game Boy. Dang it! It's down to just a few of us now. Right after Valdez died, I, I guess I went a little nuts and started tearing things apart. But what do you know? I, I found two more rad hypes. Hopefully that'll keep me going long enough to figure a way past that damn turret. Who is that? Delacroix? Sanger? I wonder if you can just go to the shuttle bay and leave. And Ray, man, fuck no, I'm, I am not finishing this game tonight. No way. No, I'm just playing. Playing until uh, I decide to stop. Probably playing until I get so hungry that I just quit. Which is not going to be too much longer now at this point. Not sure what secrets you and your new buddy Captain Diego have got going up on deck three, but I intend to find out. If you continue to refuse to meet with me and my staff, you will leave me no choice but to register a complaint with corporate. If you want to take me seriously, perhaps Sergeant Bronson and her security staff will. Okay, so these bo these robots run into you and blow up. Good to know. Man, this mod gave every female crew member just the ri most ridiculous titties. Because of course it did. Delacroix was right. This ship was not ready for prime time. Okay, the automatic safety seals have shut due to the radiation leak in the tubes. I'm gonna head down to engineering control. I think I can use the fluidics monitoring computer to purge the tubes. Replication database reinitialized. Uh, what's your favorite Easter egg that has been in all kinds of games? Uh, a lot of Bethesda games have had other Bethesda references in them lately, and that that makes me feel good. I like that. I like it when people put references to other games in their game. Like one, ones that they didn't even work on or that their company didn't publish. That's not really what Bethesda is, but... Oi. Hallway of Pain coming up. Oh boy. Doom Soldier and Duke Nukem 3D. That's pretty cool. Bethesda references everything. Ah, uh, they do. Whatever. They're, yeah, they're Easter eggs. It's fun. Quake Champions has Doomslayer, yeah, and, and BJ in it. This is Xerxes. Due to the recent confusion, there will be a ship-wide census tomorrow at 0900. All personnel, please report to the common area of Deck 5 at that time. Engineering control to purge the tubes, reset main power at engine core. Engineering control, yep, all right. Ugh. God. Yeah, okay. Power drained. Yeah. Clock Tower was pretty fucked up. Just talking about good horror. I never played Clock Tower. I've seen streams of it. It's a really fun game to watch, especially when somebody kind of knows what they're doing. They can, like, show you different endings and stuff. It's like Maniac Mansion, but way more fucked up. 
everybody's getting crushed. Aye. All right, whatever. I'll leave it. Uh, Enray, I played on the zone. I use GameSpy. Uh, I HeatNet. Like those are some of the ones I mess with. I didn't do too much online gaming. I had I had shit 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 internet. Like you wouldn't believe how bad this internet is. So it was just it was kind of not a. God, get me out of here! I've recorded the lock to this room. Medical tells me they've replicated a uh. bunch of rat hypos. I'm gonna pick those up and distribute them to the engineering staff unless anyone gets a better idea. Watts also asked me to check on the Wait. replicator in the crew lounge. He says it's a hacker's paradise. The radiation must have locked the protective seals on engine core access. You're going to have to find some way to purge the radiation from the coolant tubes. Xerxes is blocking me out of the primary data loop, so I can't get any information to help you. He's working for them now. It's interesting, yeah, the, the ship seems to be taken over by some kind of alien life form that's just sort of possessing everyone and forming this weird collective hive mind. I always love that, when it's like, space has the Cthulhu angle of you don't know what's out there and it will fuck you up. Like, it will undo your, grisp, your grasp, on, grasp on reality. It's down to just a few of us now. God, get me out of here! I've recorded a lock to this oh. room. Maybe that will hold them. Cargo bay two, huh? Decargo, Decargo bay two. Okay, so let's Come see. find me there. What is the? There we go. Nito. Archimedes, thank you for gifting another sub. That shit is unnecessary, but I appreciate it. Ow. Bro! Bro! Okay. What is it? Pella oh, anti-personalia. Okay. Anti-armor. There's a turret. It's fine. Professional, if I don't say so myself. Cargo bays. Oh, I guess I have to get through there to. I'm not sure what's creeping me out worse: the hybrids with their pipes and shotguns, the berserk turrets, or our supposed allies. I don't trust those UNM bastards. I've got to find Sanger. She knows the access code to Fluidix Control. I'm gonna make my way over to Cargo Bay Two to find her. Uh, what, what mods am I using? I am, um, I've got some texture shit on. Ooh. There's a, there was a community mod that, like, it had bug fix and quality of life stuff. Uh, and some rebalance stuff. I think the idea, fuck. What they said was uh, essentially trying to trying to imagine what uh, Looking Glass would have done if they'd kept supporting the game and patched that in. Oh, back here. Ah, uh, you know what? I think that death might be my last for the night. I'm really hungry. It's late. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, it's kind of. Kind of a more crowded stream than usual, so if this is your first time, hope you had a good time. Follow buttons there if you want to hit it. Got to, got to do my plugs, my close of stream plugs. Um, and if you want to stick around for a bit, that's fine. I'll show weird stuff. I don't know if I'll let it run just as much as I did last night, but I might let it go for a little bit. If people like it, I'll just let it go. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Happy New Year, everybody. Check the last sub. Yeah, I saw somebody gifted it to Bruce. That means either Bruce is idling in here, or you can just pick anyone, which I think either is true. People have given me subs when I'm not even on Twitch, so. Thank you for that. I'm sure he appreciates it. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I enjoy this a lot. I like playing video games. I like talking to people. I like waxing philosophic about games. So thank you for 
keeping me company while I do that. Anyway, see you next time. Happy New Year, everybody. Goodbye. Legendary action. Okay, now it's terribly tricky turtle time. Try getting that out three times in a row. Well, here's a tip from Game Players Magazine. It's for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the NES. It's time for another tip. Another video power edge. Let's look around level three first. To finish this level, you must seek and destroy all enemy tanks. The trick is to use your bullets and save your missiles, but don't waste your ammo either. Always wait a few seconds between shots. When you do use a missile, let it clear a path for you, and then follow it up, and you'll be able to cruise right through this level. Now it's on to level four. You've got to get all the energy you can. 